It's Monday, April 3rd, 2023. Let's talk about the news. From the New York Times, Trump prepares to surrender in New York as police brace for protests. Late last week, former U.S. President Trump reportedly prepared to formally surrender to New York prosecutors following his indictment by a grand jury, probably for charges related to alleged hush money payments made to adult film star Stormy Daniels. This story has been in the ether for years at this point, but in essence, Trump reportedly, through his then-lawyer, paid off an adult film star he allegedly had an affair with, because she was thinking about accepting offers to talk about that affair in the lead-up to the 2016 presidential election. And that payout, because of how it was done, could lead to several dozen charges, up to and including felony charges. There are still a lot of unknowns here, but folks on both sides of the political spectrum are so far framing this exactly as you would expect. This will likely spur more support for Trump's 2024 campaign from his own followers while making things trickier for him in the actual election if he becomes the Republican pick. Though right now, other Republicans, including those he is running against, are supporting his version of the story. Many people on the left, for their part, are worried that this comparably minor case will overshadow other cases related to messing with the 2020 election, and the press is in a tizzy trying to figure out what will happen next, though we won't know much of anything for certain until Tuesday. From BBC News, Turkey approves Finland-NATO membership bid. Finland has gotten the go-ahead to join NATO from the alliance's last two holdouts, Hungary and Turkey, paving the way for the Nordic nation to join the organization before its next summit in July. NATO requires that all member states give their approval to new potential members, and Turkey has been using that fact to prevent Sweden and Finland from joining since they expressed their interest following Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Sweden is still trying to figure out how to persuade Turkey to let them in, but Finland seems to have been successful in this regard, which among other things, will add a huge new NATO border on Russia's western flank. And from Reuters, Ukraine furious over Russian UN Security Council presidency. The Russian government assumed the presidency of the United Nations Security Council over the weekend, setting the stage for a bizarre situation in which the government in charge of this body is accused of war crimes and actively invading a neighboring member state. The presidency of the UN Security Council rotates each month alphabetically between the 15 members of the council, so this will be a short-term thing. And it wasn't an earned honor. It's just part of how this body works. That said, it is strange that the International Criminal Court, which is an international body that's not associated with the UN, issued an arrest warrant for Russian President Putin just last month. And now this organization, which is tasked with ensuring international peace and security, is being run by Putin's government. This discordance has raised the question amongst some leaders about whether the Security Council and similar bodies are even relevant anymore. If you're finding some value in One Sentence News, consider leaving a quick review wherever you get your podcasts and or sharing the show with a friend. You can find out more about this show or subscribe to the email version at onesentencenews.com. And you can support this and other related projects like the Let's Know Things and Brain Lenses podcasts at understandery.com.